Jim, we're invading your space. <laughs> we want to know <laughs> all about this yeah. weather going on. Uh, this is where it's all happening tonight, for sure. We're continuing to get reports in. Fortunately, the worst of the reports we're getting, like um, Goliad, uh, roads are icing over down in Brownsville in the valley. There have been multiple accidents. It seems like it's all around us right now. Yeah. Yeah. Let's hope it's not converging all here on top of us. Uh, as you can see from Viper Radar, uh, down in the valley, it's continuing to snow and mainly rain and freezing rain down there. It's kind of awful. Uh, up the Rio Grande there into the Westlaco, McAllen area, they've got problems. Upper Texas coast, Beaumont has problems. Freezing precipitation in Houston uh, now. Uh, we're seeing the heaviest band, instead of developing right over Austin, developing just north of Austin tonight and headed up toward Waco and back west of there to northern and central San Saba County. And the main low is still out to the west uh, around the Big Bend. And so it's still plenty far enough west of us that uh, this additional development you see there along the Rio Grande will be development that we see expand eastward into our area, we do believe, uh, in the overnight period. Uh, let's go to the storm profiler here and uh, talk about what's happening uh, locally right in and around the Austin area. Uh, we are seeing snow, but now remember, the radar beam is shooting up into the clouds several thousand feet. And so while this is snow in the clouds that has developed overhead tonight, all around the metro area and to the east of us. Not all of this is necessarily reaching the ground. You may be watching in Dripping Springs right now or uh, out around the airport and say, it's not snowing out here, it's snowing above you. And as the atmosphere continues to moisten up with this low approaching, we'll gradually see more and more of this, I'm afraid, uh, get down here to ground level. And again, it's cold enough to snow. Temperatures, saw them a moment ago, uh, averaging about uh, 20 to 25. Wind chill factors as cold as the single digits out there still in the uh, hill country. All right, the advisory areas, winter weather advisory, metro area, and hill country winter storm warning, our eastern counties. A warning's a little more serious than an advisory due to a little more accumulation. The roads could be worse east of Austin, especially between Austin and Houston overnight. The upper level low is beginning to kick out to the east across the Big Bend. That's why we're seeing the expanding areas now of uh, precipitation, especially just to the north of the Austin area. Uh, the winter weather advisory, again, and the winter storm warning, there are the detailed areas, and here are the forecast amounts. Generally, up to an inch in the hill country, possible. Most places probably less than that. In the metro area, possible one to two inches. These are National Weather Service projections for the Austin metro counties, and then two to three inches in our eastern counties, as we saw a minute ago. Here's your timeline. Watch the clock. Uh, the computer model had, uh, had the right idea tonight, uh, rapidly increasing the activity between 8 and 10 p.m. This is our 10 o'clock forecast. There's 11 o'clock. Notice that expands in the area. Uh, there's 1 a.m. The blue all representing a snow and or sleet, apparently. But then as we go through morning, a pretty rapid end to the precipitation and maybe even a little bit of clearing taking place in the clouds behind it. Now, our computer model, uh, the new model data just hit. Uh, we're seeing this together for the first time, uh, now predicting no snow in the western hill country, giving us a half inch in Austin. This is brand new model data based on the latest run, but one to two inches now in our eastern county. So we're still half an inch of snow in Austin would still be a pretty big deal. 24 and cloudy tonight at Mabry, 25 and cloudy at ABIA, uh, 8 to 13 mile per hour winds, temperatures around Texas. It is almost below freezing across every inch of the state, the exception over around Houston, Beaumont, Galveston. And wind chill factors are below freezing across the whole state. All right, lows tonight. We'll fall back into the upper teens to low 20s. May get above freezing for the first time in 72 hours or more tomorrow. Tonight, chance of snow increasing, low 20. Tomorrow morning, some lingering snow flurries. Then we could even see the sun in the afternoon at about 35. All right, after tomorrow morning, we're looking good through the weekend. We start warming up mid to upper 50s uh, this weekend. And then early next week, we have what will be, a, I think, a series of strong cold fronts that will keep us pretty cold all week long.